uh, I grew up in the Northeast, uh, or in the Middle Atlantic State, I guess I should say, outside Philadelphia, and then lived in North Carolina off and on for about 10 years, from the mid-70s to the mid-80s. And in the early 80s, I had a housemate who was a clawhammer banjo player right around Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And having him as a housemate was, uh, was one part of it. Another part of it was uh, he had friends who were great musicians. They had parties. At the end of one party, a fella left a fiddle who wasn't going to continue, who wasn't a great musician, and left the fiddle with the instructions to my housemate, do you know anybody who wants to buy this for $100 for the fiddle, bow, and case? That was, uh, that was about 30 years ago. And I bought that fiddle, and it wasn't super quick, but over 30 years, you can learn to play that thing. And I've, I've been going around the country for a number of years and trying to take, especially with these variety show evenings, which is what is going to be happening here, is taking wherever we're at, and the idea is that the, the, the folks attending are getting a really nice trip to Alaska and back. As a longtime Alaska resident, I have stories to tell and poems of the season. So coming from Rome, starting here at the, at the Rome Capitol Theater, and since I've lived in Nome and have poems set there, the folks will be attending, getting a trip to Nome and back, but also if we have a group that actually will be in an older roots music group, in a sense, uh, a trio called the Tinsel Tones with Rosalind Natt, Dale Vandersand, and uh, Anthony Belov. And they are classically trained singers, so it goes way back, but they're gonna be singing some carols and some music that would fit the, fit the holiday season. Another one is not so much a group, but an individual, Jerron Blind Boy Paxton, who is uh, a terrific young uh, African-American blues man who was originally from Southern California, who lives in New York City now, and draws raves. He uh, plays banjo, guitar, fiddle, piano. I think he plays harmonica too and sings. Come over here, sweet baby, cause I'm all alone. I ain't got no party, just a can my smoking on. Oh, won't you just smoke my cigarette, baby? Try it there for the night long. Just smoke my cigarette, baby, till you make my good ass shit come. Go so far, but just get my hand on bar. Women in this place, if I let my hand on bar, then won't you smoke my cigarette, baby? Y'all in the whole night long. Just smoke my cigarette, baby, till you make my good ass she's gone. And then we also have a string band that. When I have bands playing with me in general, they're the secret visitors. So these are truly the secret visitors. Uh, two women are coming up from Charlottesville, Virginia. One named Alex Caton, who plays fiddle, but also plays banjo and guitar. A woman named Sabra Guzman, who has often played with Alex. And then they're gonna be joined by a woman who currently lives in Massachusetts, named Andrea Cooper, who's a banjo player and also plays Irish flute. Andrea's on my first few CDs and to round it off and give give and also have a fella in the band. There's a, there's uh, Eli Smith from Brooklyn is going to be joining them, and he plays guitar, bass, banjo, and he'll be kind of 
a, a bit of the glue for that band. And then I'll also have some of these folks joining me when I'm doing my sets also. The music has been one of my uh, inspirations throughout. I've written a lot of poems about music and it's one of my trademarks and it's one of the things that I guess distinguishes me from anybody else doing most anything. People say, you're a, you're a specimen, you do unique things. And part of it is the uh, playing fiddle, poems about that, and it just, there's a synergy that works, work, that I think works really well. And then having musicians who are national and world-class musicians coming on stage and doing the poems with them just makes it that much more special.